Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. For years, NVIDIA has owned the high end of the market with no real competition from AMD above the $400 price point. Today, AMD puts an end to that with Big Navi, otherwise known as RDNA 2, a refresh of the Navi technology released in 2019 updated with ray tracing, super resolution, infinity cache, and full DirectX 12 ultimate support. Can it beat the RTX 3080? Let's find out. Today's video is brought to you by Backblaze, the leader in online backup services. Get a free two-week trial with no credit card required using our link in the video description below. More details after the video. In July of 2019, AMD launched the RX 5700 series of GPUs featuring an all-new architecture known as Navi. Replacing the decade-old graphics core next, Navi promised a Ryzen-like future with room for improvements to rival NVIDIA. RX 6000 series is that future with all the features you'd expect and perhaps a few you don't. Let's start off with one aspect that gets overlooked, but may end up being important over the next few years. Game consoles. Both the Xbox Series X, NS, and the PS5 have 8-core 16-thread Ryzen CPUs and RDNA 2 graphics technology. As games get developed for these new consoles, this may help future PC ports of console games run better on AMD. Moving on to the PC platform, AMD finally has an across-the-board premium line of hardware, including the CPU, motherboard, and GPU to compete with the best from Intel and NVIDIA. AMD promises double the performance over the RX 5700 XT and a 50% performance per watt savings, so these new cards are twice as fast while not using twice the power. That's awesome. As noted, DirectX 12 Ultimate support will be important for the future of these cards. AMD has not provided all the secrets of their new RDNA 2 architecture yet. We'll get more of that once the cards actually launch. What they have told us is that they have reworked the entire pipeline for energy efficiency, performance, and use of the new Infinity Cache design. Infinity Cache probably deserves its own explainer video, but for now, we'll say here that it provides more effective use of the existing GDDR6 and an effective bandwidth rate that's faster than the best NVIDIA and its GDDR6X has to offer. The new redesigned pipeline allows a clock speed increase of 30% without any power consumption increase. That is, in short, incredible and speaks to the hard work of the Radeon Technology Group team. AMD's goal was to increase performance per watt by 50% over RDNA 1. They claim it's actually 54% more efficient, and here you can see the three reasons why they were able to achieve this. Now, real-world testing will, of course, tell the tale, but these are some amazing claims. Something to keep in mind regarding any product launch, the company is always going to put its best foot forward. These results are provided by AMD, so expect these to be the best case scenarios. That being said, at 4K, AMD claims double the frame rates on RDNA 2 versus the RX 5700 XT. That's amazing, but keep in mind, no one was seriously recommending the RX 5700 XT for 4K gaming in the first place, so take that with a grain of salt. Double 1440p performance would be nice to see. Microsoft did not advance the DirectX number for their new feature set. Perhaps they should have, but regardless, we have DirectX 12 Ultimate Edition, a superset of 12 that includes a bunch of new features. Now, RDNA 1 doesn't have them and never will but RDNA 2 does, and that's important because not only does the RTX 30 series have them, so does the RTX 20 series, so AMD had some catching up to do. In any release of a new product, keep in mind all these companies are working on their next version. They confirmed RDNA 3 is well on its way, expect it in 2022. 
Now the highlight of this launch, in my opinion, is the RX 6800 XT. To be blunt, it's the card I think all of you should be focused on. More on that in a minute. 72 compute units, 2.2 gigahertz boost clock, 128 megabyte infinity cache, and a 16 gigabyte GDDR6 VRAM memory buffer. Only 300 watts total board power rating. That is an impressive set of stats. Putting this card up against the RTX 3080, AMD claims it matches it in overall performance at 4K. Faster in some games, slower in others, but effectively the same end user experience across various titles. It does this while consuming less power, having more VRAM, and costing less money. That is a trifecta if there ever was one, a triple win for AMD. But wait, you say, most gamers don't really play at 4K. Why won't AMD show us the 1440p results? AMD is way ahead of you here because they did. Here are the 1440p results versus RTX 3080. And again, it trades blows across the board. Hold on, don't run off yet because we're only half done. Rage Mode Overclocking, a very cool name if there ever was one, is a new feature designed to offer a single click overclock option built right into the Radeon software, designed to give you the best available performance for both your GPU chip and the VRAM for your specific card installed into your specific computer. Now, as impressive as that is, the real crown jewel here is smart access memory, a brand new technology that provides Ryzen 5000 series CPUs full access to the GPU memory when installed on a 500 series motherboard. Let me say that again for anyone who may have missed that key point, because this strikes me as one of the biggest aspects of this entire launch. If you have a Zen 3 based Ryzen 5000 CPU and you install it on a B550 or X570 motherboard along with your new RX 6000 series GPU, you will be able to turn on smart access memory in your BIOS, providing your CPU with full direct access to your GPU's memory without being bound by the existing PCI Express bus limits. AMD is claiming up to a 13% performance improvement in existing titles and even more import improvement as future titles come out that are optimized for this feature. This could be a game changer and offers a really solid reason to go with Ryzen 5000 over Intel or even the older 3000 series of Ryzen CPUs. If you're going to be upgrading to a RX 6000 series GPU, this is definitely worth something to consider. Lag and latency are of prime concern to first-person shooter gamers. Here, AMD also has some new tricks up their sleeve. With Radeon Anti-Lag, you could get an 8 millisecond reduction in latency versus nothing enabled. Sounds pretty good, right? However, using a combination of that, FreeSync, and Radeon Boost, AMD is claiming a 37% reduction in latency. For competitive first-person shooter gamers, that could be a real game changer. One key point that AMD has emphasized is that RDNA 2 is designed for the typical gaming PC that perhaps isn't ready for the ultra-high-end requirements of the RTX 30 series. For example, a 650-watt power supply is all that is required for the RX 6000 series. Due to the lower power consumption, smaller board sizes, and less heat generation, a standard tower case should be large enough as well. DirectX 12 Ultimate and AMD Fidelity FX both deserve their own videos, so I won't talk about them more here. However, I will say that it's been years since I've seen widespread game industry support for AMD technology, and that is a very nice change to see. Now, we talked about the RX 6800 XT, AMD is also releasing a lower power card, the RX 6800 non-XT. It has fewer compute units, 60 versus 72 on the 6800 XT, and a lower boost clock of 2.1 gigahertz, but it also has a lower board power of 250 watts. It does have the same 128 megabytes of infinity cache and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM as its bigger brother, however. 
AMD is positioning this as an RTX 3070 competitor. Now here, they have the RTX 2080 Ti results since this was presented before they had access to a 3070 to compare it to. However, you can more or less swap out the 2080 Ti numbers for the 3070. You're pretty close overall. But wait, there's more. Saving the best for last, AMD is releasing an RX 6900 XT, their RTX 3090 competitor for a lot less money. Featuring a whopping 80 compute units and otherwise the same specs as the RX 6800 XT, it should run about 10% faster overall versus the 6800 XT. The price of the cards is rather interesting. The RX 6800 XT is, in my opinion, the deal at $650. Now, it's true that you can save $70 by dropping down to the RX 6800 non-XT, but you lose a dozen compute units and 150 megahertz of boost clock. For $580, that doesn't strike me as worth the $70 saved in general. Now, one benefit of the non-XT card is that it has a 250 watt board power rating. So for those of you on lower end systems, you might some, find some value here if you don't need to upgrade maybe your 550 watt PSU unit for it. Now on the other end of the spectrum, we have the RX 6900 XT for $1,000. And it's actually a really good deal versus the RTX 3090. However, that's only true in a vacuum because the RX 6800 XT exists. It has only eight fewer compute units and it's $350 less expensive. I don't even need a calculator to tell me that the 6800 series here are the real deal. No information was released on a 6500, 6600, or 6700 series of cards, but you can assume those are coming probably next year in 2021, probably with a mix of 8, 12, and possibly 16 gigabytes of VRAM depending on the cards. We will cover them when we know more about them. Overall, I want to give Radeon Technology Group two gold stars for their impressive work here. This is the first AMD GPU launch that I have been excited about in years, and I am honestly looking forward to comparing these to NVIDIA and showcasing what they can do once we can get our hands on them. Backblaze is the leader in online backup services. Back up your entire computer, including external USB hard drives for just $6 per month or $60 per year for no limit. No file size limits, no backup size limits, no throttling and multi-threaded upload support. Multiple security options, including two-factor authentication and private encryption keys, rapid restore with file downloads, plus the option to have your data shipped to you via USB hard drive, File versioning support keeps multiple copies of files as you change them to allow recovery of older versions of files or accidentally deleted files with the option to keep deleted files in your backup forever. Sign up for a free two-week trial using our link in the video description below. No credit card is required. Give it a try. Test your backup speed. Do a test restore to make sure you're happy with it before paying anything. We have been paying customers at Backblaze for nine years, long before we had a YouTube channel, and we highly recommend it. Thank you all so much for watching through all of that. Two gold stars to all of you to go on top of the two to RTG. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. Remember to subscribe to our channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions. You know where the comment section is. Links in the video description to, well, I'll link to AMD's uh, launch announcement. And I will also put all these press slides up over on Patreon for those of you who want to go over there and see those. Thank you very much to the supporters. And expect more news on these in November when the cards launch. Thank you so much. I will see all of you next time.